as I said, it's my pleasure to be here, and uh, I think today it's the honor to see the people whom they are leaders in the field of medical and pharmaceutical industry. The leaders not only in UAE, but the leaders at the level of the Middle East and Northern Africa. There are 10 million people in this beautiful country, exactly 10 million people living in peace, having the best quality of care in terms of health and pharma industry, having the most innovative drugs being approved by FDA or EMEA, and having the state-of-art hospitals such as Cleveland Abu Dhabi, CEO National University, which they are running Sheikh Khalifa Hospital. And also we have the new technologies, which UAE were almost the second or the third country in the world having a robotic system to perform different invasive procedures. Um, I, I think I agree with what Dr. Mupin was saying earlier about the challenges 10 years ago. 10 years ago in the UAE healthcare, certainly private healthcare, meant basic primary care. You went into clinics, you got your care there because uh, whatever tertiary care was being done in this country was being done in the government hospitals. And uh, we didn't really have uh, a, a very major role to play in that. And one very, well, one very important thing that happened was the introduction, the systematic introduction, and which we are now seeing, uh, in, in a sense in its fruition, is mandatory health insurance. Mandatory health insurance has been a game changer. What it has done has given a critical tool to the people of the UAE in, through which they can access healthcare. And it's put us as private players in a role where we are able, we have to provide that healthcare to people.